Kiki Palmer has made the transition from a child star to a multifaceted entertainer. But as she continues securing gigs, all while running her Key TV network, her private life has been placed under a microscope. Kiki has attempted to keep her love life away from the public eye, but her most recent relationship has made headlines, and not in a good way. In fact, there are some major red flags that we'd like to bring to her attention. Because the gag is, I don't have time for games. Okay. Before we start digging into other people's business, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of lemon pepper beef jerky, chicken and waffles popcorn, and green apple licorice. As she navigated her way through the world of dating and relationships, she discovered that there was too much pressure to be intimate. She told Madame Noir website that intimacy was the number one topic of discussion when she was chatting with men, and she was so over it. She added, I do not know why there is so much pressure being built when you are dating someone. It's like they have a ticking time clock on you. So she decided to lay out her own personal rules. In order to date her, a man had to be kind, a gentleman, he had to take her out sometimes, and he needed to be very sweet. She wasn't asking for much. And maybe that was the problem. She made everybody confused in 2016 when she released the music video for her song, I Don't Belong to You. The video co-stars Rotimi as her love interest, but at the end of the video, Kiki is seductively led into a house by Cassie. Of course, fans were confused, and they wondered if the video was Kiki's way of tiptoeing out of the closet. She later told People Magazine that the video represented modern women who aren't forcing themselves into boxes that are defined by today's society. She added, I'm making the rules for myself, and I don't have to be stuck down to one label. She also didn't feel the need to define her sexuality because things were constantly changing for her day by day. She continued her search for the perfect partner behind the scenes. By that point, she was too scared to date someone in the industry, and she wanted to be with someone who was regular degular schmegula. She tried online dating and even tried spitting game through Instagram DMs. But her dating life was a hot, stankin' disaster. She told Essence's Yes Girl podcast that things were going terribly because a lot of men were more excited about her career than she was, and it was a major turnoff. Mmm... Okay. She also quickly realized that men outside of the industry were just as bad as entertainers, if not worse. Those types of men would overcompensate and try to prove that they had a lot going on to make themselves look more important. She added, So it becomes difficult sometimes to find that sweet spot of somebody who's not trying to compete with you, that doesn't feel insecure about your career, and that's not trying to hijack your brand. She turned to many of her friends in the industry to give her some dating tips and tricks. She said the first person to warn her about boys was her Long Shots co-star, Ice Cube. Ice Cube pulled her aside and told her, Kiki, I know you're growing up, and I just want you to understand the way these men are seeing you isn't always how you see yourself. And then, during a January 2019 appearance on Steve Harvey's show, Kiki complained that Steve was always setting her up with billionaires. Steve tried to explain to her that she needed to be with someone who had something to offer. You make a lot of money. What you cannot do is be taking care of nobody else. So True. what you can't, you can't give nobody your lifestyle. Yeah. He got to come in here with a lifestyle that you can put it together with. Was he implying that our girl Kiki was chasing after Dusty's? Uh-uh. But by the fall of 2020, she revealed she was focusing on herself. She took to her Instagram to reveal that after making amends with her parents, it helped her realize she had a lot of things to work on in other areas of her life. She was also creating healthy boundaries and letting go of resentment by being more kind, patient and compassionate. Months later, her life would change forever. She attended Issa Rae and Diddy's after party for the show Insecure in May 2021. Cast member Saronis Jackson was in attendance as well, and he brought along his brother, Darius. Now, Kiki was familiar with Saronis and had seen him around town, but she had never, ever seen Darius's fine self before. She later told ET Canada that he was everything she had ever visualized. So she approached him with the idea that she would add him to her hit list. She asked him if he wanted a drink, and Darius was surprised that she was even interested in him. The rest is history. 
She told ET Canada that although no one is perfect, Darius was exactly what she wanted in a partner because he wasn't obsessed with being masculine. To clarify, she said he had a good relationship with his mother. He didn't take himself too seriously, he's a bit cheesy and corny, he knows how to dress, and he quote, welcomed the softness that feminine energy can give. They went Instagram official on Kiki's 28th birthday in August 2021. One month later, the ish hit the fan. A woman named Taylor Marie, who claimed to be Darius's ex-girlfriend, took to her TikTok to accuse Darius of pressuring her to terminate her pregnancy just three weeks before he went public with Kiki. Yep, we said three weeks. Well, Kiki was the one who approached Darius, not knowing his relationship status, and he was everything she always wanted, so she wasn't going to let a little allegation stop their love train. Unlike her other relationships where she chose to keep things private, she was way more open when it came to Darius. During a November 2021 interview with The Tamron Hall Show, Kiki said she and Darius spent a lot of time together, which made it difficult for her to hide him from her fans. And besides, she didn't want to hide someone that made her really happy. She also loved how he wasn't directly involved in the entertainment industry, but he was well aware of how the industry worked thanks to his brother's career. So what exactly is his occupation? Well, at the time, he defined himself as a fitness instructor, a podcast host and a writer. You ain't got no job. <laughs> what started out as a promising relationship quickly went left when, in March 2022, Kiki unfollowed Darius on social media. Radar Online reported she also deleted all traces of him from her profile. So yeah, things appeared to be a bit rocky between them. But by the following month, they were spotted partying at Coachella. Following that link up, Darius took to his Instagram to post a cryptic message about mistakes and growth. Many people assumed they had called it quits, but that wasn't the case. While hosting Saturday Night Live in December 2022, Kiki revealed her baby bump. And yes, Darius was confirmed to be the child's father. She was already in her third trimester and about two months away from her due date. And you know our nosy selves did the math and determined Kiki most likely got pregnant about one year after she and Darius first met. Honey, the gwirlies over at LipstickAlley.com weren't pleased that Kiki was starting a family with Darius. In fact, they called Darius a bum and told Kiki she should have gotten pregnant by Michael B. Jordan instead. She gave birth to their son, Leotis Angelton Jackson, in February 2023. Months later, she described Darius as the best dad ever on Father's Day. But was he also the best partner? Hmm... That was up for debate. On 4th of July weekend, 2023, Kiki was captured wearing a skin-tight, semi-sheer dress at Usher's Las Vegas concert. The body was bodying. Check out this exclusive video from RRG. Darius, who many presumed was stuck back at home in Los Angeles, was extra salty. He took to his Twitter to respond to a video of Kiki being serenaded by Usher. In his caption, Darius wrote, It's the outfit, though. You a mom. Wait, so moms can't wear sexy dresses? And what gives him the right to be upset about what clothes she puts on her body? And couldn't he have had a conversation with her in private? We have so many questions and not enough answers, child. You already know Twitter lit his tail all the way up. But do you think Darius gave a hoot? <laughs> not a chance. In fact, he doubled down on his statement by adding that her outfit reflects poorly on their family. He said, We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others, and he gets told how much of a hater he is. 
This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Say what now? He then deactivated his social media accounts, but not before online users started scrounging through his old tweets. They discovered that not only does he have a problem with Kiki's clothing, but he made some very disparaging comments about Alton Sterling, the man who was wrongfully killed by the police in 2016. Mm, mm, mm. Kiki didn't publicly address his comments. Instead, she posted several images of herself from that night looking extra thickety thick thick and scrumptious. As of this video, the post has more than 30,000 comments. One commenter wrote, He made her a mother before a wife. He worried about the wrong thing. Another online user referred to Darius as her nanny and told him he needed to stop hating. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. And then she took to her TikTok. You ain't stopping what's going on with me, sweetheart. So if you gon' act up, I'm about to link up. If you gon' act up. As of this video, Darius is back on Instagram, but it appears that he has removed all traces of Kiki from his profile. We hope that Kiki will continue to be her most authentic and true self without allowing anyone to dim her light. But for now, all we can do is keep ducking these red flags so they don't bust us upside the head, child. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.